members of this committee have accused me of providing false information when I responded to questions about the IRS processing of applications for tax exemption. I have not done anything wrong. I have not broken any laws. I have not violated any IRS rules or regulations, and I have not provided false information to this or any other congressional committee. And while I would very much like to answer the committee's questions today, I've been advised by my counsel to assert my constitutional right not to testify or answer questions related to the subject matter of this hearing. After very careful consideration, I have decided to follow my counsel's advice and not testify or answer any of the questions today. Because I'm asserting my right not to testify, I know that some people will assume that I've done something wrong. I have not. One of the basic functions of the Fifth Amendment is to protect innocent individuals, and that is the protection I'm invoking today. Thank you. Thank you for your testimony. Ms. Lerner, uh, earlier, uh, the ranking member made me aware of a response we have uh, that is purported to come from you in regards to questions that the IG asked during his investigation. Uh, can we have you authenticate the, simply the questions and answers previously given to the Inspector General? I, I don't know what that is. I'd have to look at it. Okay. Would you please make, uh, make it available to the witness? This appears to be my response. So it's your t testimony that, as far as your recollection, that is your response? That's correct. Ms. Lerner, the topic of today's hearing is the IRS improper targeting of certain groups for additional scrutiny regarding their application for tax-exempt status. As director of exempt organizations of the Tax-Exempt and Government Entities Division of the IRS, you are uniquely positioned to provide testimony to help this committee better understand how and why the IRS targeted these groups. To that end, I must ask you to reconsider, particularly in light of the fact that you have given not once but twice testimony before this committee under oath this morning. You have made an opening statement in which you made assertions of your innocence, assertions you did nothing wrong, assertions you broke no laws or rules. Additionally, you have authenticated earlier answers to the IG. At this point, uh, I believe you have not asserted your rights, but in fact have effectively waived your rights. Would you please seek counsel for further guidance at the, on this matter while we wait? I will not answer any questions or testify about the subject matter of this committee's meeting. We will take your refusal as a refusal to testify. The witness and counsel are dismissed. Uh, the gentleman will state a point of order. Please wait. Mr. Issa, Mr. Cummings just said we should run this like a courtroom, and I agree with him. She just testified. She just waived her Fifth Amendment right to privilege. You don't get to tell your side of the story and then not be subjected to cross-examination. That's not the way it works. She waived her right to Fifth Amendment privilege by, by issuing an opening statement. She ought to stand here and answer our questions. Ms. Lerner, I'll ask you just a couple of additional questions. Is it possible that we could narrow the scope of questions and that there are some areas that you would be able to answer any questions on here today? I will not answer any questions or testify today. Ms. Lerner, would you uh, be willing to answer questions specifically related to the earlier statements made under oath before this committee? I decline to answer that question for the reasons I've already given. For this reason, I have no choice but to excuse the witness subject to recall after we seek 
specific counsel on the questions of whether or not the constitutional right of the Fifth Amendment has been properly waived. Notwithstanding that, in consultation with the Department of Justice as to whether or not limited or use immunity could be negotiated, the witness and counsel are dismissed. The clerk will please rearrange the seating.